Hi, this is Rod Lucas on a warm day at uh, the end of May, beginning of June, and I'm here with another uh, radio trainee, Kev Hunt. Hello. And he's uh, on his final third day of radio training. Now, Kev works for a local radio station already, but he's only been in radio for uh, eight months. That's right, eight months. So tell me what's led you to come and see me for these days? Um, just really wanting to um, put the finishing touches um, and have the rough edges chipped away for want of a better word um, and wanting to know that what I'm um, adopting within the radio is the right things um, and it's alright everybody else telling you but you, I think you need to come to somebody on the outside uh, obviously with the experience mm. um, that can point you in the right direction. So, have you seen in the news today, the home improvement packs have been suspended. <laughs> yes, they have. Isn't that a huge sigh of relief for everybody? What were they all about in the first place? So, what difference has the two days that we've done already made to your radio life so far? Um, t -t 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 tell us. I think it's opened the door a lot, um, if you like, pulled the curtains back to make you just realise that turning up, half an hour before your show, um, putting your headphones on and, and doing it isn't quite right. What, what we talked about on the first day, Rod, was you, you said radio is not all about painting by numbers. The biggest thing for me was you, you, was you showing me the correct way to put show prep together. Well, you know, the trouble with in my view of radio today, commercial radio and BBC local radio sometimes, is that um, the, the, the programming tends to all to be the same, talking about the same subjects and the real radio greats, those that are often found on network radio, people like Terry Wogan, Chris Evans, Steve Wright, have original program content. So how's it going? Going yeah, very well. Very well, as you can see. Very, very busy studio, this. You have, and you've got your guests coming up later. Coming up about ten past twelve. Plus, you're taking some calls. We are. We've opened the phone lines. For and the, you're uh, going to be going into the news. We've got the adverts coming up very shortly. Yeah. Um, after, after Erasure. So, um... All go. Oh, it's all go. As you can see, it's never stopped. Do you know we've had Paul from Totten back on the phone? The Larch Road chip shop is still there. And it is absolutely superb. It has to be one of the best chip shops. That's it then for today. Your news is next. John Ellery is up after that. Thanks, goodbye. Whoa, well done. Headphones done? off. Yes, turn around and have a quick word with me about uh, a show which. Um, Wow, that lasted about an hour and something, and that's a particular session. We've done a few sessions. Um, the interview went well. Yeah. How did you feel about the interview since we were talking about it earlier? Very well. Uh, very well. Uh, felt very good about that. Um, you were... Uh, it's obviously... It's easier interviewing somebody that knows how to be interviewed, obviously. Yes. Um, but a lot of it isn't actually asking the questions. A lot of it is doing the prep work for the questions. Yeah. Um, which is obviously what you what, what you have tried to install in me. And um, listening to the answers as well. Because he actually did give the answer to one question. And I asked it again. Yeah. But that was a very good interview. But right? even so, um, again, something that you, that, that you did tell me is eye contact. And even when I wrote down the website name, I don't know whether or not you noticed, but I didn't actually take my eyes off you. Uh, yes, no, I, I, th th you were very good at that. I mean, I thought the whole thing was very good, and you certainly, um, during this course, soaked it up. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're on day three, and we sort of arrived uh, for sort of lunchtime, um, uh, and um, we're, we're all still learning, of course. Of you course. are as well, but um, I love the bit where you got the news in, yeah. you know, the poignant bits about the, the breaking news that's occurring today. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the way that you got into the news was good, all the bits about um, the baby that you mentioned in your show. There was this nice light touch, and some of those other um, uh, subjects which you covered as well. Yeah. Very good. Listener, listener um, uh, communication in terms of localness, you were really reaching out and touching that's people. That's it, yeah. It wasn't a show that's being broadcast to Huddersfield or Manchester or London, it was really very local to Southampton. Yeah, for local people, which is obviously what you what you told me. Well, you say obviously, yeah, 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 that's right, but a lot of people don't, but I love the way that you did that. 
very successful um, uh, show today, and not an easy one. Mm. Um, and we'll see what we do this afternoon. But um, as, as, as we sort of bring this sort of uh, you know uh, YouTube video to a close, what would you say to people about the courses that I give? I always ask people straight to the camera, unedited, from, from where you were on where you are now, having just completed something on air. Um, the courses that you run are—I don't actually know how you do it to, to cram as much in. Um, I was very apprehensive as to what I was going to to, to, to find out and, and learn if I was going to learn anything when I when I turned up at your door on on Tuesday morning. Um, you have a very good way of of putting things, and sometimes I sit there and I thought, "What's he telling me about that for?" And then. Well, what's he telling me about that for? And by the time you told me the fourth thing, the first and second thing start to fall into place. And all of a sudden, it's like building the edges of around the jigsaw. Mm. Um, very, very informative. What well, do you think you've learned mo more than anything then, Kev? Um, I think the thing that, the, the, the biggest thing I've learned is um, uh, the, uh, the show prep, in how to show prep properly. As I say, I was turning up um, for a show um, on Play Radio with, you know, newspaper um, and expecting to wing my way through it, which is not the right way to do it. And so you've just got a different perspective on what to include in shows now and the diversity yes, of... Yes, and the length of links, things. you know, yeah. you, you've, you, you've, you've, you've taught the whole thing, really, and I, as I say, I don't know how you do it in three days, I really don't. So um, would you recommend a one-to-one -one, uh, radio presenter training course with me? Definitely. Um, I would recommend it that much that I am coming back for another three day uh, in possibly three or four months to, to, to teach me other things. Yeah. You need to go away with the what you've learned uh, here and all the different aspects that you've yeah. uh, taken on board, production elements, um, you know, how to promote the show, prep it, and the rest of it, and, um, uh, and, and see where you go with that, and then perhaps uh, come back and see where you go. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you, you open people up to, to, to things, that, or you certainly open me up to something that I didn't think I would be able to do, wouldn't be comfortable with it, which was the Radio 2 demo. Uh, it was yeah. just something that I didn't believe that I could do. Um, and you, you've been saying that from the very early time that I met you. Yes, because it's a different side to you. It's That's a different it. kind of presentation. So you obviously, you obviously can see far beyond what people think yeah. that they can do, I, which I, is good. And, and pushing people. Yeah. And uh, not least of all, I've been filming you as well. So that's something else you've had to take on board. Yeah. Because, um, as I've said on previous videos, you know, radio is becoming more visual for um, people now in radio studios. They're having a, a live webcam at them. One that doesn't just take a picture every 25 seconds, but, but some of them like TV, because that's what the internet age calls for. It's not a walk in the park, your courses. They are very informative. Um, and be ready to to have to sit and listen be challenged and be challenged yeah be, and expect to be pushed to the limit because you 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 walk out of here i've walked out of here tuesday night and last night absolutely mentally exhausted <laughs> well, i hope it's not that bad but it's enjoyable isn't it <laughs> oh it's fantastic fantastic That's the food right. is great <laughs> yeah, 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 is that Rob Lucas? okay well i you know i've really enjoyed uh, teaching you have learned a, a hell of a lot and, and and much will sort of filter down in the next few months yeah. Uh, that, that, that radio is more than um, just pop and prattle and just yes. talking about Cheryl Cole and, um, you know, the birthday file. There has to be more about it. There's passion. It's but more about music, which is something you've yeah. taught me. Yeah. It is we can't definitely. base popular radio just on music anymore. No. It is that personality-led presenter, whether it's news, music and talk, Radio 2, commercial, hot FM or whatever. It's been a pleasure. I'm holding a camera, but I'll shake her hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, wish you all the best and look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers, Kev. Cheers. Well done.